Hello. Welcome to my presentation. <laughs> for those of you that watch later, thank you for watching. <laughs> OK. Um, home is where the heart is, but where is my heart? Over the past 10 years, I have wrestled through the idea that I am where my home resides. I can't shake the feeling that I'm lost, searching for a location I should call home. But what is a home if not the people and relationships around us? In an ever-shifting flow of people and relationships, where does my heart reside? What does loving my neighbor as myself really mean? The images that we will about to see are a reflection on this idea, on this question, and on this conflict. I first noticed this conflict when trying to understand my relationships with people through social media. So for example, um, Facebook is something that everyone has or generally uses. Um, and it's something that we can use to understand the people around us. Whether it's someone that's really close to us, like your mom or dad, whether it's someone you don't even know, you can understand who someone is by what they present to you. So there's this type of facade, there's this wall even, this bridge that um, people use to communicate who they are with the outside world. Now, I critique this in many different um, art forms over the past couple years, and to me, Facebook, social media, the understanding of who someone is without being in person is something that's very intriguing and very complicated. So for example, my roommate, Andrew, no longer has a Facebook. And we've talked about why that is and the complexity of how we present each other or to each other who we are. Now, I have a Facebook and I tend to present things that are very abstract. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see my abstract photos. Um, and you know, my fiance sometimes says it's not the greatest thing because I don't put a caption. But there's, um, there's an idea that this abstractness is, gets at the heart of who I am more than a particular phrase or particular wood, word that I put out. Um, and there's an idea that i rather have an in-depth conversation with someone in person um, than have them understand who I am through social media. Now there's another saying, you know, water, water everywhere, not a drop to drink. And I like to think about it as people, people everywhere, not a friend in sight. Um, through my research, there's this lonely apartment um, situation or complex where in most major cities in the United States, you can live in an apartment, be around people within feet of each other and never meet. I've experienced this a lot in Phoenix where it's 105 degrees. And when you get home from work, you drive into your, your garage and close the door and you don't see anybody because it's 105 degrees. You don't want to go outside. Um, and so there's an interesting complex like, idea of who we are in society, who we are in community that doesn't work um, as well in social media. Now, is there a solution? Yes. We can have conversations like this. We can have conversations face to face. We can understand who we are with the people around us. We can have conversations over dinner, sometimes over text messaging, although that can be complicated, or on the phone. And we don't have to present who we are with a facade. 